Welcome to the Motley Few Adventure Hour? Maybe? Brought to you by Butterball. Man. Because it's almost, thir- it's almost what? Thanksgiving. So you guys uh, can, can uh, have a little lizard and a little shrimp if you, if you're, if you do this right tonight. So I believe you're fighting some sort of a lizard looking being, if I'm not mistaken. So when you were last here to catch the people up. Yes, sir. What up? Were you saying something? I was just going to say, I thought it was a crocodile. Is it a crocodile? It probably is. After a while, crocodile. Looks like it's in a fraternity, though. It has a big paddle. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, right, so, yes. Amazing. Last time you guys were here um, uh, with Abasi, um, you took on the giant, we'll just say scorpion, um, although I would also argue a shrimp. I don't know. But uh, this scorpion creature, and you managed to, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, you guys rolled uh, like a bunch of really, really great rolls. It was like in a bunch of crits last time. Like, it wasn't it somewhat insane? Um, yeah, towards yeah. the end. Yeah, and you managed to dispatch this thing, um, pried the top with the bossy of, of this tomb, and, um, you know, withdrew the first sepulcher. Sepulcher? Did I get it right first time? Sepulcher? Sepulcher? Sepulcher. 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 Sibilis. Anyway. Um, you then beelined um, back to that room, um, towards the entrance it was sort of to the west and uh, it was where you had heard that water running down the slide um, Mr. Mr. Delbane attached himself to a rope and made his way down um, and sort of under the waterfall spied off in the distance what looks like some sort of a crocodile creature um, good times were had Mr. Dole Mr. Bull <laughs> Dob Bull Jesus Christ so, so Dob um, did I, I don't know as a sort of a ninja turtle slide down this water slide launching himself off the end and flipping around and landed right in front of uh, of, of Cadmius um, and had a short exchange uh, with this creature that could be summed up as you know this 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 gnome is what's for dinner um, Cadmius Towards the end, you sent a signal to the team that tug, tug, um, yep. something was afoot. And right as of right now, Dob, Cadmius, and this creature that you've yet to learn much about, um, they're all in car- combat. No one's rolled initiative. Um, the rest of you were trying to decide whether you head down the slide, you go around the long way, you do some flanking, whatever else. Um, your spidey sense suggested that at the end of the hallway that you explored earlier, that there was a door that you didn't go through. It was near the vaults. Um, that may lead into this room. Um, you aren't for sure, but that was sort of the plan. And that brings us to right now, to the state of now. I've got a mulled got cider. It. I've got a mulled whiskey. You know, I've got my headphones on. It's toasty in the garage here, and I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to roll. What are you guys gonna do? So uh, one of the things Abasi made fun of us for last time is uh, we spent the whole time fighting the boss all the way, and we could have just opened the uh, sarcophagus and gotten the thing out. So we want to try that this time. Well, the only one you can ask that to is is Delbane. Unless unless you guys have attached two cops to the rope. You guys got got Um, the, the, the conversation going? I guess we all have to get down here first, and then we can discuss it. Now, it is worth noting that you guys are like, like, you know, Dob, you're exposed. It's unclear if, um, you know, if this creature has discovered um, Cadmius yet. It clearly has you. So, Cadmius, you know, you've been communicating with the rope. Um, it is 15 or so feet. You can shout up the. You can shout up the thing. You can have a conversation, but that will for sure expose you as being in the waterfall. But I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think that your time there is, you know, hidden is going to last too much longer. No. So, I wanted to throw that your way. Okay, I'm going to whisper, you know, stage whisper to Abasi and Sue. See, 
can you guys circle around and, and arrange a distraction for this guy? Gladly. Gladly. B b uh, near the vault? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah, that whatever other open opening there is to this chamber. Sue, let's make haste. And that was just, it was just Sue, right? Or was it yeah. also Atreus? Was it just Sue and, and... Atreus, that's up to you. Atreus. Uh, Atreus, sorry. My Atreus, bad. Atreus, sorry. Well, uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go with them as well, because then we have three. Okay. Like, on both sides. All right. And I'm right. going to slide down the tube. All right, so let's get, um, let me get this posse first. So they're going to make their way around. Um, let's go to this room and see if anything happens. Not so far. I tell you what, this, this interface has gotten much better. Like some of the things I changed seems to have smoothed things out. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to park these guys at the door. Atreus, I'll let you make your way to the door. It's free move right now. All right, Hold I'm on. there. Did, did I go the right way? So is that the door that you were thinking? Is that the right way, Atreus? Is that the is that the door? I I have no idea what you guys are talking about since I wasn't here last. Um, just to remind me, Horbeck, I'm going to temporarily move you to. I, I don't know either. <laughs> okay, so wait, hold on. Just I'm going to put you back, but just so you know, like, so you guys came up from here. Right. And you've explored here. You went up to the right or up to the left and then down a hallway, down some stairs. Is that yeah. is that the doorway that you're thinking? Yes, was that, well, was that the, the was that the place where you said your intuition tells you that uh I'll just save time I, uh, just so you can see this is where they are um that's a long way um yeah because to the west is the is the vault to the south is the stairs you know that the place that you guys were is, is to the south of that you just you don't know what's behind that door I wonder if it's there. There's that other door that was in the big circular room that I saw when we passed that was angled southwest. I wonder if that's more of what would lead down to it. So, Horbeck, I'm going to move you back since you didn't go yep. with them. I just wanted to, because you were here last time, I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything yep. uh, wrong. But I guess this would be the door because this is the only place we, we explored then, right? So this would be what we would all think. Well, I mean, it is it is what it is. Like, you guys have the mental maps. Okay, Horbeck, you're back where you were. All right. Um, right. And, and you guys, like, I don't know, like, it's... it's. I'm going to have... I want to do this. There's two different parties, right? And one of you is going to come in a door and distract, and the other one, Horbeck, is going to head down. Is that going to be before or after they, they open the door? I'll probably go down before they open the door because I have no idea how we have no way of signaling each other. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go down. All right, I'll allow it. Go ahead and move down. Now, are you signaling to before you move? Are you signaling to Cadmus? You're coming down. Yeah, just a quick like coming down. All right, Cadmus, <laughs> are you? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just like sucked right up against the wall. Ah, which the wall in front of the slide, or to the left of it, or to the right of it? Like, what are you trying to? Are you the very, you, the you, very, you crouching the down? The very easterly wall. So yeah, I'm just kind of like under the waterfall and just like okay, um, got just it. As suctioned oh. to the wall as I can be, so that uh, Dob will just go or not Dob. Um, uh, Horbeck. Uh, Horbeck can just slide right over top of me. Hey, um, Mr. DM, can yes, I um, try, like, did either of those statues look promising that I could, like, tie off this rope? Absolutely. To them? 
I'm going to do that. All right. So you've you've tied off. How long was your rope? 50 feet. Oh, yeah, you have plenty of plenty of rope. All right. So you're tied off. Okay. To be, to be perfectly frank, to. I was surprised you guys didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, so, you know, big muscles. OK. All right. Um, so yeah. So off. I'm going to try to do a controlled descent. All right. So, yeah, so, since if you're going to be taking your time, I'm not going to make you roll. So I kind of poke my head out. All right. So you, yeah. So you you are you feel Horbeck breathing down your neck at this point. Oh wait, are you are you all the way out of the you're out of the chamber, right? I'm yeah. I'm right at the where the water spills out. Okay. Yeah. So you know you're somewhat visible, like you're standing behind a waterfall. It's not you know you're you're observable at this point. But just so you know, um, and Horbeck, you are, I mean, not Horbeck, um, Cadmius, you, you know, you guys are like right up against each other, like super close, but like bosom buddies at this point. And unfortunately, I don't remember that song, so I can't sing it for you. It's too bad. All right. Now, while you guys are parked there, we're going to go up to the top here. All right. And to the north of you. Um, so you guys do indeed see that door to the north. Um, there's Sue, there's Abasi, and, and, and Atreus. So, Atreus, what are your thoughts on on, uh, on the door? First, I want to cast Pass Without Trace. It's a, okay. one of my innate spell casting features. Um, a veil of shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. For the duration, each creature you choose within 30 feet of you has a plus 10 bonus to dexterity or stealth checks and can't be tracked ex- expected by magically except for magical means a creature that receives this bonus le- leaves behind no tracks or other traces of its passage so that way when we open the door hopefully whatever creatures in there will um, take it by surprise so and it should alright looks like Did it worked do- Okay. And then I, w- I want to check the door for make sure that it's, if it's locked or traps or anything really quick. Wait, is just it to, is it is it just to you or to them as well? It should be all of us. It's supposed to be anyone within a 30 foot radius. Did you target them before you cast it? Oh, do you, you have to target it even though yeah, it's it supposed doesn't, to be it, Well, it wouldn't know if they're a hostile or good or whatever else. They're just uh, I see. Uh, okay. How do you target in here again? Is it alt or control? I don't know. I think you just click. That's, is it? That's what yeah. I do. Yeah, I just just go and click the other. You know, it's funny because I I keep telling people how to do stuff and then realize that the GM controls are completely different than yours. Like I I'm always saying, like right click and target, and it doesn't exist for you guys. The right click target. Yeah, see the... for me, it's just a left click. How do you how do you target two people? Oh, there we go. Shift left click. Okay, let me try okay. rerolling that then. All right, don't use a spell slot if it takes one. Or let me know if I need to give you one back. Is it passive? I don't know uh, passive. Is it um, cantrip? It, it's my innate. It just says innate spell spell casting ability. Okay. I already. You are already. Co- oh yeah, it says I'm already concentrating on pass without trace. So let me do that. And I should have everybody. Do I have to target myself then too? Um, Probably. Okay, let's hope this works. If not, we'll make it work. Like it, it's, it's, I have to keep reminding myself, this is the learning team. Okay, It. so it did it again for some reason. It said, you already have concentrating you are already concentrating on pass without trace in the concentration, yes or no, and I hit yes. But then okay. when I click it, it says the same thing. It keeps asking me that same, telling me that I have to end concentration. Okay, hold on. Pass without trace. So for some reason, it's not letting me end the con- my pass without trace concentration. Sorry, everyone. Oh, it's fine. No, we'll it's figure it out. It's been like four weeks since I've actually played at all, so <laughs> I've kind of rusty. 
All right, so I just drug it to her. So I just drug Pass Without Trace. I just wanted to see if it worked from your temporary effects into these guys. Okay, I, I just saw it say Add Pass Without Trace. All right. So it's for one hour. That's that's probably quite a while for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So they both have Pass so, Without Trace. Okay, now we now do. Now I want to check the door to make sure it's not trapped or anything, and also see if it's locked. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Players. Let me remove this guy, this guy, and that guy. And then add. All right. Request roll. Wait, what did I just ask for quote? Perception. There you go. Oh, wait, you wanted to do investigation. I'm sorry. You wanted to see if it was locked. It's, you already can, it's not locked. I'll give that to you. Okay. Any um, traps? But perception, yeah. So for perception, yeah, there's it, it doesn't seem to be trapped. The door does seem to be unlocked. Um, you know, Abasi places his ear against it and it's 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 odd. He he hears he doesn't hear water. Right? He hears what what well, can only be described as, as nature. Right? He's like, he's like, I swear I hear like a forest or, or something. I'm worried that we're going to be splitting up and fighting two bosses at this point. I'm worried this isn't the right door. It's not going to lead to the wherever they are. Atreus, um, I, I agree. I, I, I fear this is not the right door. We went, we went yeah. very far to the northwest. And I don't yeah, think that 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 other room was was quite this far north. north. Yeah, I, I agree. We're gonna kick in the cool. door and, and be surprised at some other creature. Yeah, and and then our power to attack anything is that we may need to is divided. So let's uh, let's go back and meet them and go back down the slide and see if like if we can help there because I at least we could get down without anyone hearing us because of my the spell that I cast, so we should be able to get in without anyone else, like, whatever's in there besides them, without them even knowing we're there. I, I, I agree with this plan. Let's, let's make our way back. Sounds good. And to be clear, so you're heading back all the way to the slide, or you're heading back and trying to find the other door? To the slide, because uh, I don't want to spend time, if they're down there and there's something going to attack them, I would hate to spend time trying to find a, the right door and who knows how long that could take. Yeah, you guys do know. Um, you do know. And as as you as you walk this way, Atreus, you notice on the floor is this mosaic of a bird. Okay, and since I wasn't there, did what what did they say they saw down there or they thought they saw down? Uh, you don't know that. You know that you've heard water. So here's what you know. Um, there's a mosaic of a scorpion where you had come from. There's a mosaic of a bird from the room that you heard nature sounds coming from. Um, to the northeast, I'm sorry, to the southeast is a mosaic of what looks like a lizard. And all you know is that you heard water down there. Um, to the direct south is the is is the snake. And that's the way which, from which you came. Um, you're not quite sure what the creature to the north the northeast is. Um, quite yet. Maybe it looks like maybe Anubis or a dog of some sort. You can't be too sure. And then, of course, the the path directly north is indescript. There's there's nothing there, but the uh, it's clearly a very locked door. All right. Okay, I'm gonna make a call since we know there we heard water. There seems to be a lizard or some sort of potentially crocodile or alligator creature on the mosaic. What do you think, Abasi? Should we let's go into that door where the crocodile, which to me could best lead towards water, because it is a water creature. And then, then we could still do the same, um, the same plan. Sorry, we have two kids in two different schools, and they've managed to both choose the exact day and hour to schedule IEPs for our kids. 
Oh. So that's uh, fun. Anyway, I, I missed I missed the plan. I know you guys were talking amongst yourself. What'd you decide? Uh, so so I I was asking Abasi if if instead of it looking like a lizard, did he think that the mosaic looked more like an alligator or a crocodile, which are water based creatures? Because then I think we go in that door and just go for it. My gut tells me that you're correct. What do you think, Sue? Well, the kids of America are, like, pretty cool with, you know, whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> Sorry, I could not resist. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just made me snort. <laughs> um, can can we right. give an inspiration to the DM? Because that was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, that, that's what I think we do. Let, let's go open this door. Um, that way we can keep Horbeck's original plan of... Oops. <laughs> sorry. Oh. I, sorry. I just completely disappeared into the dark. You. <laughs> I transported you a whole lot. There we go. <clears throat> I forgot I had All you right. selected. All right, so here we go. Let's open the door. All right. Wait, wait, wait let's... All right, let's go down this hallway. Abasi's like sort of wide-eyed that you're proceeding so so carelessly when you quite earlier <laughs> like stormed down a hallway, fell into a trap, and slid into the scorpion room. Uh, I'm just concerned that our compatriots are 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 in in jeopardy, our peril. So I'm trying to go fast. Yeah, so how this is going to work is there's going to be, before you, you're at the door, before you can open the door to allow for that amount of time, um, I'm going to give two rounds to the to the other party. Sounds good. Well, I mean, if it turns into rounds. So now we're back. Um, Dob, you know, you're, you're fully exposed. The last thing, um, the last thing this creature said to you was basically your dinner so I know the plan I know the plan is for these guys to distract what's your plan are we going to do some Benny Hill running around the room avoiding this thing or? <laughs> avoiding this thing or? <laughs> yeah something like that can you give me uh, um, the, the plants and the, sh- the general topology in the room is any of it large enough for a rock gnome to hide in amongst the round under? No. Um, you know, like, they're... It's it's close, but these are water plants, right? So you could, you'd could you go underwater. There's are floating on the surface, right? And effectively, you know, they're, they're roughly the size of you, but unless you pull together some sort of Gilligan's Island reed or you're going to be underwater breathing, you know... It's going to be hard to sort of stealthily make your way, you know, under one of these. Do you have some sort of an ability that allows you to... No, I I don't have a straw in my inventory, unfortunately. Now, I will say that you could, before this creature, you know, you've come down and you've landed, and that's basically where we are, right? And he's just sort of yelled your way. You could arguably make it out the door prior to or faster than he could make it to you unless he has some sort of a ranged weapon and I will give you an opportunity to you know ask questions you know what have you so I'm, I'm and you're Dob, down there too I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shooting at him cause why not well there, there's that yeah so if, if you want to use that opportunity to submerge and swim away a little bit. Uh, yeah, are we going to... Um, so let's see, me, so I, yeah. and Horback are going to be in combat, right? Yeah. I just, yeah, I just, I, I don't see that any of us is going to, like, get to that center place to grab the thing without losing his attention. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, I just figure I'll like you know try to attract his attention as much as possible. And... Yeah, um, I was just trying to figure out like move order. Are we gonna um, do we need a roll for initiative and figure out for the people yeah. in combat who's gonna go win? 
Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do a roll for initiative. Um, I just wanted to give you guys sort of like this is the you've just dropped into the room moment to do any sort of investigating. You can't move around, right? But it's basically anything you can observe here, whatever. I'm happy to answer any of those questions. Um, it looks like I could probably actually make it to the door and pop that open as my turn. And then that would would put you a lot closer than me. And and I don't know what just happened, but I'm going to wager that someone used the measuring tool. Oh, yeah, that was me. Okay. So this this is to be a flashback for Curtis. Um, (laughs) That locked you up, right? Didn't that lock us all up when you used the measuring tool? Yeah, I'm locked up up right now. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So we didn't know why we were all locked up. But our theory was it was the measuring tool. So when when I saw that my my thing popped up, I said wait, um, or exit page. Now I know that measuring tool locks things up. That sucks because it's handy. It's weird though. For the person who uses it, it usually doesn't lock it up. But are you locked up? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. Interesting. I, I hit wait. Can you it... unselect the measuring tool now? Or do it's unselected. Yeah, no, I, I have um, I have a copy text icon or a cursor, so I don't even have. I'm gonna exit page and go back. Should I just refresh? Yeah. Good times, guys. Good times. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, and it's asking me to log in. I'll be with you guys in two shakes. Likewise. Well, we learned something. Now we know. Don't use the measure tool. Yeah, until we figure it out, I'll, I'll figure out what's going on. I don't know if it's a third party, because I think that's the, that's the built-in measuring tool. So that shouldn't lock us up. All right, I think I'm back. Oh, yeah, I can hear everything. It's all good. It took me a very long time to get back to the page. Well, we'll hang two, we'll, we'll, we'll hang tight. Oh, there while, we go. While we're doing it, so so Mr. Bowl, um, you're thinking you're going to head to the door? Yeah, I think I'm going to scoot over to the door and open it up. I'll give you that as a I'll give you that as a pre-combat move. The way I'm thinking about this is like you land after your incredible acrobatic trick, like leaping over the top of Cadmius. You splash into the water. This dude says, yum, you're what's for dinner. And before combat even can begin, you're taking and you're, you're making the decision to sort of run to the door that you see off to your right. But we are going to roll for initiative before we do that for the three of you or for anyone who's down there. I think I have to add. Uh, I'm going to add Mr. Horbeck. All right, so why don't the 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 lot of you roll for initiative? Is that everyone or just those? No, just, or... You're not in the combat tracker yet. So you're not in combat. You're on the other side of the door. So we're going to let this play out sort of naturally. All right, so each of you is going to get one free move. All right? Bull's heading to the door, and when you get there, you're going to open the door. Is that right? Is that the idea? Yeah. All right, are you going to be going... Do you have enough to go through it? Let me see. I'm going to just drag to see. Yeah, you have enough to go through. Are you going through the door, or are you... Um, I think they're all stacked up, so I'm just, I'll just stay beside the door. Yeah, your assumption is that they're on the other side of the door, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you, Horbeck? You're going to you're going to do some tanking, if I heard correctly. Yeah. First, I'm just going to start shooting my crossbow at him. From where you stand. Uh, I'm going to step out of the. All right. I'll let you take your step. Um, Katniss. Yeah, how, so, how deep is this water? And 
Um, it's about it's about thigh deep. Okay. Around around knee deep, I would say. Actually, about knee deep, as a frog would say. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Um, it's very pretty, right? It's you know you see yeah, this this sarcophagus in the middle, right? Um, with these crazy sort of like ornate little bird-like statues aimed around. But anyway, um, so Academy is Mr. Bain. What are you up to? I'm <clears throat> hiding under the waterfall and will be um, uh, using advantage on um, what is the name of that creature? Do you know yet? Spent- no one's asked. <laughs> no one's asked anything about the creature. Hey, foul alligator. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Ansubek, the shadow beneath. Your name? Popeye. Death. All right. So, Cadmus, what's your? So you're you're gonna hang tight. I'm hanging tight and hope to have an element of surprise. All right, so I'm opening the door. So the Cliff's action was run, open door. Wait, open door. All right, so the door's open, right? You guys can see in, right? So the guys to the north. Um, I'm giving, Horbeck, I'm giving you um, a free attack. Wait. And then we're going to start. All right, I am leveling my crossbow. That mister was Ansebeck. Ansebeck, if you're nasty. That was not much, but still. And, um... You did a thing. Oh, does he have some sort of damage resistance going on? You wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so maybe on your on your next turn, you might want to ask some questions about him. I don't know. <laughs> game, game Master says that. Well, so I get two attacks, so I'm All right. doing my thing. It's a nice, a solid hit again. Yeah, and you do some damage, but you know your spidey sense says, "Man, that you would have expected that to be more damage than he actually took." Um. Oh crap! I didn't load it before I got here. Son of a bitch. I may do a I may do a reload in a second here, guys, for you guys. Um. There's a new we have a new uh, extension that bifurcates the chat so that you can look at just the combat data. Oh, cool. Right, so it sort of just it throws that out there, but I forgot to enable it. That was one of my to dos before I started. I'll enable that until you guys refresh later. Um, all right, so you know that was your free attacks. Um, uh, we're now in combat. At the bottom of this, uh, at the bottom of this, I'm going to add the rest of you because the door is now opened, and you guys see what the hell's going on. But we're going to do this one cycle before that happens, and begin combat. So, this creature, you know, spins to you. I gotta see what we got here. And he's gonna come in a little easy on you. So he makes his way over. Oh, geez. I was, I was dragging, I was dragging the action onto the character because I forgot what I was playing. Normal? Oh, I didn't attack. I didn't target you. My bad. So ignore that. I think he's going to hit me pretty much regardless of whatever he rolls. You picked up on the husk. Yeah, he he hits you with a, a 26. Okay. And... Where's the damage, ask? All right. It's not going to ask me, I guess. I waited long enough. I I thought we had this automated, but... It's a 1d4, Tom. (laughs) You you, you wish. (laughs) The minus two. 
<laughs> it's a 1d12 plus 6, so... <laughs> hey! Oh. This is not... This is, this is very much not fair. Yeah, so, yeah, that's that's that. Um, so he, because he hit, he gets a second uh, attack with his claws. Are we abiding by the time limit? Because his time limit's almost over. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he is done, because he does not have that. He didn't have equip it. Mr. Bowl, you've opened the door. That was your free move. Your friends are waiting on the other side of the door. Um, the whole lot of you see this door open and see um, Bob, you know, Dob Bowl on the other side of it. And are like, holy, holy crap, there's this giant, like, alligator or, or crocodile looking thing, you know, attacking your pal, Horbeck. Um, and in the back of your mind, you're thinking like, "Yeah, that was the wrong door. The other door, <laughs> the, other, the other door." <laughs> so, so here you are. You can't do anything yet, but Mr. Mr. Bowl, you are up. All right. Um, can I get a reckoning on if my little rock no mask can open this sepulcher by myself? Or do I think I'm going to need help based on our prior experience? Your your prior experience is is that it took a bossy and Sue to open the last sarcophagus. So what's your strength? Negative ten. Yeah, because Abasi's Abasi's got a fourteen strength and Sue has only an eight, right? So combined, yeah, roughly twenty four. Mine's eight. Yeah, there's no way. Because Abasi couldn't get it himself. Right? Okay. And he's stronger than you. I am going to then... Uh, now that Ansubek is paying attention to Horbeck, I'm going to sneak over and to the corner of the, the sepulcher thing. Okay. To the sarcophagus? Sounds good. Yeah. Are you doing it with stealth? Uh, let's say yeah. All right, roll a stealth Should check. Roll? Yeah. Jesus Christ. A 21? Yeah, he couldn't. He, like, despite you, you trudging through water and, and, you know, climbing up onto some sort of a, a platform, because while the other, the water is up to everyone else's knees, it's, like, up to your waist, right? Um, like, yeah, you're up there sort of crouched down, no problem, right? He seems unaware of you. So you still have your full action. Or not. Oh, uh, yeah. No, right, I'm just going to hold. Okay, uh, Cadmus, you're up. You're you're sort of behind the water. Your friend is getting his ass handed to him. <clears throat> yeah. Do I still have um, glory? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Uh. Where did glory? Where was glory, you guys? Last time I remember, glory was when we had um, killed the scorpion. I thought it went away when the spell yeah, was over. Yeah, that's, you have to Did recast it. Go, okay. It. Yeah. I do have to recast it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've got this weird kind of like icon um, of a sword sort of hovering under that, so I was wondering. Okay. Um, with um, Ansebeck's uh, attention being paid on Horbeck, I am going to um, jolt out of my hiding really quickly here. Turn to face Horbeck. Target Horbeck. Or, sorry, target uh, Ansubek. And use my waxing crescent that I had picked up. Okay. And after your turn, I'm going to hit. You, you, it's going to refresh everyone's browser just as soon as your turn, as soon as you do what you're doing. Make sure that I'm not targeted, okay? Is it <laughs> I don't know. And I, I feel no. targeted. <laughs> do you feel targeted? Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. I let, didn't plug into you. I... Wait, don't oh, okay. take your turn yet. Let me let me hit let me hit yes on this. It's going to reload your screens real quick. 
to enable this stuff. And okay. I think that would be a better use. And maybe it'll help us here. Hold on. This also may fix our issue. Everyone's screen should be refreshing right now. Yep. Yep. Awesome. So what are you trying to do while, while this is loading? I'm using my waxing crescent, that uh, weapon, the magical weapon that I had picked up. Uh, this is bikini I season. Targeted. What's that? That was a really bad joke. You said you're using your waxing crescent, and I said it is bikini season. It was not the best <laughs> joke, but, uh, you know. It would have landed if I heard what you said. No, not even close to a good joke either. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> All right, now you do see up in the upper right-hand corner of your log, you see a thing that says chat and damage log. Damage will start to appear there. Okay, so the last when we last talked 10 seconds ago, um, yep. Horbeck was like, make sure you don't hit me. So it does not appear that he's targeted. I don't see that you have targeted anything. Okay. No, I need to I need to target uh, the editor. I am that guy right there, and I am targeting this big editor. And Cadmus, like you, you, now that you've moved out from the waterfall, you can just see how big this thing is. Mm -hmm. It's big. Uh, where is my advantage? Ah, oh, there. It, is. it is. All right. No. No, he's not destroyed. All right, so yeah, you put a dent in him, and if you hit the damage log, you guys, you can see yeah. now it's going to show you what happened with a very uh, supposedly is, very simple math. Where is the damage? Where's the what? I'm trying to so, find the damage log. So is it not rolling damage? Horbeck, did it roll damage for you? I am uncertain. Because you hit, right? So you hit, right? right? Well, yes. I did, I and I got uh, seven, uh, seven points of damage, but I hadn't seen if any damage was actually applied to... And so, okay. so looking at the the chat, it does show that you hit it seven points of you hit him. Yeah. So it, it shows yeah. the roll, the attack roll. Then it has a, which I, I think maybe you're talking about. It says hits twenty four seven, on Subek, the shadow beneath. So you hit at twenty four and did seven damage, and then it showed oh, yeah. the damage roll for some reason. Yeah, so seven seven radiant. Okay. Yeah. So the the order is weird, but but it it showed the showed showed it in the chat log. Yeah, and it, and it looks in the damage log. It looks oh, like okay. it, yeah, it did. It did do the damage. Okay, but it's good to make sure that it, it calculated things right. So awesome. Um, and then I, uh, as my bonus, I am going to use um, blinding. I'm going to cast a blinding smite. Um, Oh, that's only for melee. Never mind. I'm going to move or finish finish my turn and move. I'm going to pop over here to uh, help open this uh, sar sarcophagus. Okay. So, so the creature, um, Antubek, who told you his name, um, you can see him side eyeing you as you sort of make your way. So he's aware you're there. Yep. And and, and Mr. Bull, as he does so, you know he can't quite make you out because you're crouched down, sort of behind the sarcophagus. But but he is aware of Cadmius, just so you're mindful of that. All right, Horbeck, that ends your turn, correct? I haven't done anything yet. I'm sorry, not Horbeck. Cadmius, that ends <laughs> your turn. Horbeck, it is your turn. Yeah. 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 So I am. A stamping my feet and shouting at this miserable lizard and um, saying how 
eagles use their talons to rip lizards apart like you. Uh, and I'm switching over to sword and shield. So that will take up my turn. Ouch. Yeah. But but indeed, I, I appreciate the honesty and yeah. using your action to do so. So the um So that ends that turn. We're going to add everybody else to the combat tracker. And then we'll re-roll initiative. Abasi is now in combat. Sue is now in combat. Atreus is now in combat. I believe you're all in combat. Please roll for initiative. I think somebody rolled for Dob. Oh, that might have been me, because I, for some reason I still had rolling ability for other people, and as I... The the stacking order just changed right when I clicked the yeah, button. Yeah, yeah, that happened. I noticed I had the ability to roll for you too. So, I think there's a weird like ownership thing. Okay, hold on. Let me let me check ownership. Who wants to run Sue? By the way, don't all jump at once. You guys can. I know, I know what you can spell. do. So. What's that? I know. I don't know how to use spells. So somebody who is all right, Atreus, it's you, man. Spells. I, I can do it. Owner. I think I, I, I ran her character um, last time. But. All right. And let me make sure that there's not any other weird owner issues. So who else could... It was for uh, Cadmus, right? Configure ownership. Oh, do I need to roll her initiative? Um, yes, please. Okay, because... I thought she had already rolled it. Oh, wow. It still uses my dice. That's cool. Too bad that was ownership. a crappy roll, but... Okay, hold on. There we go. Atreus. Let's see. Cadmius. Configure your ownership. Okay, now you shouldn't. It shouldn't be weird. Like you guys should all be able to control your own character, other than um, Curtis. You can control both Atreus and Sue. Hmm. All right, and I believe Horbeck. I oh know. I'm sorry. Abasi. I have to hit begin combat. Next round. Sorry, my bad. Next round. Abasi is up. Abasi has entered the battle. So he beelines to the sarcophagus and, you know, he's like, Will you help me open this thing? Yeah, you got it, man. Let's get this thing lifted. So between the three of you, you know, you guys start to push on the sarcophagus. And this, and the lid sort of slides off, and that's going to end Abasi's turn. We'll work on. We'll talk about what's inside after after this round. Horbeck, you are now up again. Time for me to grind you under the heel of my boot, lizard. <laughs> oh, and, and by the way, the old, the other, the combat hub HUD that you guys, some of you liked better, is now available. Um, if you look at it, there's a. You'll see it is floating in the top of the screen. Oh. Are you hardcore people who don't need the pretties? Why? Why do you feel the need to kink shame me, Tom? Well, you know. <laughs> okay. So I am swinging uh, my lizard slicer madly at this guy. Take that. Yeah, and that thing just like, you know, whips okay, right past right inside. past this guy. Okay. Just not right. not a lot happens. But you have to get a second take... attack, right? Yes, that's correct. Oh. Pink. Pink. Alright. <laughs> yeah, double miss. And you know, he just grins real big. Uh, with his, his sort of lizard toothy grin, uh, Mr. Bowl. Uh, you can, can I, either uh, mess with what's in the sarcophagus, or and yeah. do that, or you can. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go shopping. 
see what's in there. All right. So, um, a couple of things that you notice. So, uh, roll for me an investigation check. Actually, Cadmius, Dole, and Abasi can all roll investigation checks. So we got ourselves a 13. So thank goodness for Abasi. Um, not a strong roll, but Abasi's like, um, you know, a, 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 a couple of things, a, a couple of things. Um, this is Abusek. This, this, this is this elemental monstrosity. Oh, I should do voices. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. <clears throat> anyway, this is Abusek, right? It's an elemental monstrosity. It, it, it escaped the elemental water plane into the prime, prime material and, and had it terrorized the land unchecked for centuries before before it joined the Demon Queen. At least that's what I read in these, these the ancient checks. What I know is this dude, he's violent and he's unhinged, right? As you can see from the glyphs on top of the sarcophagus, right? The only thing he cares about is his next battle or meal, right? And, and it seems that today, Horbeck is going to serve both. So, you know, during the Empire of Blood's height, he commanded an army of elementals and their ilk, and he protected the queen's rivers, ports, and ships while raiding those of his enemies. Uh, so pretty, pretty badass, if you, if you ask me. Um, as far as the sarcophagus, I mean, you know, aside from its beauty, you know, it's it, it clearly is made of white stone, and it appears to have been sort of attacked and damaged in several places by some sort of a heavy, a heavy weapon. Um, you know, this, this, this turquoise decorations of gold and, and silver. Um, it seems to depict this, a young woman at, at rest. Um, these urns with flowers seem to be somewhat ornamental. I, I, I can't tell for sure. Um, but these, 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 I know these markings on this thing are, are, are religious. Absolutely. I, I, I need to study it just a, a few more minutes before I can, I can, I can know more. So Abasi, you know, Abasi is going to take a little bit more time to study this stuff. So maybe next round inside, though, um, you do see what appears to be some sort of a scepter. Um, although it's unclear without sort of knowing what these symbols mean, if you should grab it or not. Right. You also see something, some sort of a mantle, right? A sort of a... Uh, a cape of, of some sort, um, and again, you you aren't sure if you should you should grab this thing or not. Um, but I defer to you. Bob Barker wants to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like uh, I'm going to have a strong inclination to get uh, that sucker clean. Um, You grabbing the stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look around and make sure to see if anybody's giving me the stink eye before I grab anything. Does anybody think this is a terrible idea? No, Abasi's, Abasi's like deep, like sort of despite the battle going on, you know, to the southeast, like studying the glyphs, right? Like trying to understand. And, and, um, and Horback, you know, Horback. Is, is sort of behind you. You can't. You aren't making eye contact with him, right? He's he's sort of behind you. No, Horbeck is fighting. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Okay. Cadmius. Cadmius. Yeah. Yeah. Cadmius is cool. All right. I'm gonna grab the scepter. All right. In your inventory, any second now, you should see something called the scepter of dawn you know you're a little gnome it weighs about four pounds not not too bad a little meaty um but you now have it and left behind is whatever whatever that mantle is you grabbing that or you leaving it uh you know i'll grab that too i haven't gotten melted supernaturally yet so I might as well all right so you know you, you pop this thing open and as you're doing so 
um, Abasi, you know, raises his eyes. He's like, my, you know, he's like, my God, that's that's the mantle of names. That that that's that beautiful sky sky blue colored cloth, right? Um, and with its copper threads and embroidered with hundreds of family names, um, emblazoned with the rising sun. That's this this cloak protected the ancient hero Anek, um, the first light of day. But this is going to be no good to you until you attune to it. So he tells you... He tells you, you know, once per day, whoever wears his cloak can cast a heroism spell. And it doesn't require concentration, right? Um, um, you also gain plus one bonus on um, AC and saving throws while you're wearing the cloak. Um, and the heroism spell is interesting, right? It's a basically a willing creature you touch is imbued with bravery. Until the spell ends, the creature is immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points equal to your spellcasting ability modifier at the start of each of its turns. When the spell ends, the target loses the remaining temporary hit points from the spell. So, kind of fun. That's pretty cool. It is. Very cool. So there you go. All right. Um, I'm going to hide and stay put. All right. Is that, is that a passive or do you have to do a roll? Um, I don't think I have to roll, but it's an action. Okay. So your action was grabbing these stuff, and I will give you the hide as your bonus. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I have a, I could use that. As, I have a bonus thing. Anyway, yeah, so that's I what I figured. Do. Cool. All right. Atreus, you know, you see all hell breaking loose down to the south. You also see Mr. Bull sort of, like, ravaging, like, through this sarcophagi. Um, sarcophagus. So... Since we kind of just joined the the battle with the door open, ha, has uh, as Ansubek noticed us on the other side of the door at all yet? Just from a side eye perspective, like he's aware, he's you know he's a creature of battle, right? So he saw the door open up. He knows you're there. He's aware that there's people there. He's he's aware that there's people there, and he's also aware that people are robbing the tomb. Okay, so then I'm gonna move in to right. Here, actually, I'm gonna move over here. I should still have passed without a trace, but not that that matters at this point. And then I am gonna cast your favorite thing. Oh, are you casting darkness? Oh. Come on, man, it's gonna be so great. And I am gonna cast darkness right on Aaron Subek's head. That's, that's what we're gonna try to do, at least. <laughs> I'll believe it when yeah, I see it. Not, it's not letting me roll. Why? Thought I had it. It's a okay. Well, I guess I won't do that then. Never mind. Well, no. I mean, um, if, you, if that's what you want to do, let's figure out how to do it. That's part of the game. Yeah. So, no. I, that's a, yeah, man. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cast. Uh, Earth Trimmer on him. Ooh, do tell. Please tell me it's an area of effect spell. That would be awesome. Uh, you you cause a trimmer in the ground within range. Each each creature other than you in that area must makes a, a dexterity saving throw on a failed save. A creature takes 1d6 bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone. If the ground in that area is loose earth or stone, it becomes difficult terrain until cleared, with each 5-foot diameter portion requiring at least 1 minute to clear by hand. Okay. It is... What's the radius? I think it says 10 feet. So it would be is both that, Ansubek as well down. as Horbeck. Oh, is it? I can't tell the size. Yeah. Even if I do it like a little bit behind him? No, that's true. That you you, you okay. could you could place him. Yeah. So so he basically, he's he's uh, he takes up 10 by 10. Horbeck is 5 by 5. <laughs> So ten feet away would be right here. Like, a, like a, I'm looking right at that where that. Oh, uh, so that and that would still get him though. Yeah, that'll still get him. Okay. My assumption is uh, it doesn't have to. That my assumption is it only has to intersect a, a square he, oh, he's in, on. right? Not his entirety. Although okay, I kind of on. like the idea of, of 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 Horbeck having to do a saving throw, so you know. Oh, I guess I have to... I guess it's an attack roll. So I, I have to do that. Okay. 
I didn't realize it was an attack roll. So okay. let me try that again. Oh, I just saw That's, that it said uh, damage. So no damage on save. So oh, he like succeeded. He succeeded. Save. So nothing. Okay. Well, and I don't have any bonus actions I could really do. Let me. Nothing great. It's great. Right. Just wave at him and say hi. That's it for my turn. He does. He does spin towards you. Aware. Okay. All right. And Sue is up. Uh, Sue. She kind of comes sk skipping into the thing, going la la la, trying to figure out. Oh. Um. Sees what's going on, and she is going to cast Bane on Ansu Beck. Oh, wait. Okay, let me just make sure I have Sue selected. Okay. And then. Okay, I think I'm using her now. Okay. Oh, she's already. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what she was doing, so hopefully I didn't just screw someone up by making her switch concentration to something else. All right. All so right, she's so that concentrating. He and is now, just so that everyone knows, up to three creatures of choice, Christmas saving throws, whenever a target fails this saving throw, makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from their attack roll or saving throw. Yep. So cool. I like that. So he has to always do that, um, subtract it. So, which is good, because his turn's up next. Awesome. Let's see here. That was good timing. I was trying to blind him so you could get away, but... I think I was out of that spell. That's why. Oh. Are you in? You're in water, right? You're fully in water, right? Yep. Why? Oh, I don't know. Um. All right. So he comes at you. He's he's targeted you, Horbeck. Um. Actually. He's going to take a step forward before he attacks. Do your worst, lizard. He's still there, right? And he's still he's still aimed at you. Abasi's behind him, has him somewhat flanked, but he's okay with that. Um, and he's going to hit you with something that he likes to call Blade of Rushing Waters. And hits you with a solid 18. And I don't know why it doesn't spell the damage for me, but whatever. So damage, normal. And does a nice Ain't solid so 19 of damage. It could have been so worse. Tough. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Wait, did it? Did it include his? Um, Looks like it. The D minus the D4. Uh, oh yeah, I did. Okay, so I, I see it on the uh, yeah, attack. Yeah, on the attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hate to say this, Tom. Yeah, I don't think it applied any of that damage to me. No. Teacher, you forgot to give us homework. Yeah. Hold on. Why is it not a? <laughs> Hold on. Asabek should be checks this. Sight line to Horbeck. There's no cover. Asabek to Shadow Beneath. Attack roll 24. But it doesn't say you. But you're targeted. Uh, I'm confused. Does anyone see any, anything in the log that would imply why it suddenly was not applying that to you? Wait, I wonder if it's the same thing that when I damaged on uh, Ansonic, it didn't show that it applied any damage to him. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but... Where do you see the damage log? Where is that? 
up in the right, uh, like look at the chat, and then up at the top it says chat and damage log. I don't see that. Oh, I don't think that loaded for us actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't see it. I haven't seen that either. Oh, I will say in the chat though, it it just it just says it rolled. It doesn't say it was attacking anyone. Usually the chat will actually say who it's attacking against, but this just says answer back. Did blade of rushing waters. Well, here. I just took 19 off you. The old fashioned way. Thanks, Pencil and Tom. paper. You're welcome. <laughs> and let me, let's scroll back. Let me look and see, make sure that I can, that it took, um, scrolling back to your turn, um, Cadmius. For Cadmius, yeah, that was. I think that was like 300 points. <laughs> it was it was only seven. Seventy five points, I think, is what Cadmus did. <laughs> there it is. Trying try to say seventy five. Yeah, seven, it, was, it was seven points. It did not apply it. Okay. The hell. Seven. Enter. I mean, it's easy to make happen. Like I just, you know. Did he take my twenty four damage? Uh, let's take a look. I'm just kidding. It's I. It, I did some damage, but it wasn't very much. But did you do damage? Did it take it? Uh, I I am unsure. I know that there was damage reduction. It looked like, but uh, like that, I'm doing yeah, half, that one, half damage. Was that applied? I think that one that took before Thomas oh. did the refresh for us. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening right. suddenly. Um, very weird. All right. Well, that that is his first of two attacks. Um, Ain't so bad. Ain't so tough. Yeah. So let me make sure that you're. I'm gonna untarget you, and I'm gonna retarget you. And he's gonna hit you with his. This time he's just gonna hit with his claw. Attack. Normal. Uh oh. Was that a one? Fumble. All right. Welcome to Fumble Land. Let's see what happens to him. Okay, Fumble. Overextended. You are stunned until the end of your next turn. Damn it. All right, so let's well, apply. Well, well. Apply stunned. Boom. That ends his turn. Does stunned mean he can't have opportunity? Uh, if someone disengages? Yep, he is stunned. He cannot attack for his next turn, or he can do nothing. <laughs> yeah, you seem to like that, do you? Oh, he's a big mofo. Guy. Yes, he's very All big. Alright, so... Or should we just all get uh, away? Ooh. <laughs> I don't like that plan. d d is all about fighting until someone dies. I thought Cadmus it was something is, uh, from the last fight. I thought there was something though. If we got the scepter, that would like in the fight. I don't know. Yeah, that's Still, kind of what I was expecting too, but that didn't happen. He was supposed to be crumbling in dust at some point. Hmm. Maybe he's staying hydrated because he's in the water. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Cadmus is uh, targeted um, Ansebeck with. His waxing crescent. Uh, oh, it has no available uses left. Does this only have a single use? For what? For my waxing crescent. The uh, the weapon that I picked up. I don't recall ever hearing that it's got a single use, but it must. Huh, okay. Um, well, in that case, I will use uh, unarmed strike for my first attack on him. And when he's stunned, do I have advantage or normal? Nope, you're just normal. Okay. And I take a swing and I miss. And you do miss. Do you have a second attack? I do, yes. I'm going to use my uh, rapier. 
for my second attack on him. Oh, and a crit! There you go. As soon as you roll this, let's roll your crit. All right, now did it apply the damage? 10 applied, yes. Okay. Yeah, roll 21, 10 applied. Perfect. Let's see what you got for your crit. You got on their nerve, so the target is weakened. All right, so until the end of this battle, this thing is weakened. Everybody's working for the weekend. So now I go to this, and I go in here, and I put weekend. You're welcome. Thank you. And with that, I am going to back out of the way. Yeah, this thing is stunned. Until the end of its next turn. So you get to all get one more round, and then it's no longer stunned. It will be continued to be weakened for the fight, though. So that was quite the crit. All right, let's do a roll for initiative. Go for it. I can still roll for Atreus for some reason. Okay, let me fix that in a second here. All right, you can roll for Atreus, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I showed up on his name. It doesn't show you as owning him. If I click on his character, he pops up for me as well. Yeah, that's normal. You can look at someone's character. Um, although I think the initiative roll, like, I think it's possible to click on anybody else's dice, right? It's only the only dice that shows up. It was just for Atreus. There was no dice showing up for anybody else. Oh, weird. Okay, Who is this on. Atreus? Atreus. Atre Atreus. <laughs> Oh, okay, how about, trade how about now? Does that work? That's pro that, I fixed it. I got thought it. there was a new character you guys found. <laughs> no, that fixed it. Perfect. Ooh. All right, let's do the next round. Boom. Speaking of Atreus. All right, Atreus, it's, it's your turn. Atreus. Sorry, yeah, my, 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 parents, my parents really liked flowers, so I was like the atrium of the house. Um... All right, well, I think I'm going to... Wait, oh, which one am I? Okay, there we go. I am going to move forward because I, I think I'm all out of spells. And I am going to attack him. Okay, is, he's uh, selected, right, just to make sure? Uh, he, there is a red dot, if that's your color. Okay. All right, I'm going to attack him with my long sword. I... And should we, uh, wait, should, should we at least get advantage if he's stunned? No, I, that, that's the, um, although you should get advantage if you have him flanked. Oh. And I believe because I, I attack him, t I get two attacks, I believe. Yeah. But, but you should also have gotten advantage on that because you're flanked. I don't know why the flanking is not working. Oh, did I need to click advantage on it? Oh, yeah. Did you not click advantage? No, I did not. Okay, just roll a normal roll one more time to see if you hit. That will, that'll be your second roll for the advantage. <laughs> a miss. No, All right. right. Now you okay. can do your second now roll do roll with advantage. Yeah. Okay. So now I'll do it again and do an advantage. Another miss. I missed anyways? Yeah. Okay, well, and then I'm going to use a key point to attack it for a third time, one of my key points with my stunning strike, just to make sure it stays stunned. It failed, so it stays stunned. How long does it stay stunned? Every round, so, right? When you hit with a, a melee weapon attack, you can spend one key point to make the target stun until the end of your next turn, so into my next turn. Okay, so the end, so, so that means a whole even other round. Turn, then, yeah, we get another round, so. And that's it for my turn. <laughs> Damn it. All right, All we're right. back. 
All right, so I'm, I'm gonna cleave this guy in half. Oh, not not so much. Not so much the cleaving in half. Second attack. There we go. Solid hit. That. <laughs> I was gonna say okay. could be worse. Okay, did then, it re did it reply? Did it take it from him? I don't know. Yeah, it I says three applied. applied. Yeah, I did. And I'm gonna do an action surge. Mm, so I can take one Mountain additional Duke. action. That's right. Surge. All right, solid hit. Decent damage. Okay. And you guys are chiseling away at this guy, and and you know he still is looking pretty strong. Like oh, there's a little blood, but like not much. Should, should we get out of here, guys? It might right. make sense. So we have everything from the tomb, right? Given that uh, Sue Sue is seeing this and saying, "Hey, this doesn't seem like it's going super well," she's going to cast suggestion on him. Um, so you suggest a course of activity and limited to a sentence or two, and magical influence a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Okay. Uh, first, she wants to like get a sense. Can he understand common or I don't know what language is she? He's talked to me. Yeah, he okay, does. So he he's, he's, he speaks. He, he's communicating with you. So she's going to give him a single command to go to sleep. She's just going to say sleep. How, do, how long does that last? Let's see. Uh, OK, the suggestion must be worded in such a manner as to make the course of action sound reasonable, asking the creature to stab itself. Oh, they are doing the obnoxious harmful act. Well, in the spell, target must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. It purpose the course of action you describe to the best of ability. The suggestion course of action can, can continue for the entire duration. Okay, we've seen that phrase a lot. So, the duration of what? Anyone have any idea what that means? Your DM eight does hours. not know. Huh? I assume it's combat, but. Uh, it says eight hours. So, it's within the. If you look. When you're reading the description of the spell, it has like little tags or pills at the bottom. That somewhere in there is typically the duration. So for, okay. for eight hours. All right, let's see what happens. I, I, if you sleep this guy, that would be a pretty weird way to end this combat. Oh, Jesus. He succeeded. Oh, he succeeded. Yeah, oh. he succeeded. I thought first it I was like. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice try. Good try. Good try. Yeah. Um, and, did you, uh, I, I hate to say this, but did you roll that with advantage? Or did you No, do I that? did not. It didn't ask for advantage. It just, it just said. It's just for saving throw. Because he should have had to yeah. do that with a. He should have had to do a saving throw with disadvantage. Yeah, because this yeah, is. He, he like, Because he's done. Oh, no. And, oh, was yeah. there a bane? But uh, because I broke concentration to do that oh. spell to try to get him to sleep, the bane ended. Yeah, but he's but still. I, I, he's stunned though, right? Yeah. So he's roll. I'll let you. I'll let you try it one more time, as the disadvantage for you to, to account for the disadvantage. Okay. Uh, hold on. I have to find where that spell went. There and it if is. it asks you to use a spell slot, don't use a spell slot for the second. How do I? Tell it not to use a spell slot. Oh, there we go. I'm watching okay, it the... Says, it says if he failed. What? Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. And to back the shadow beneath fails out of five. Okay, so he's asleep. So he is asleep for eight hours, guys. 
That's what I get. That's what I get for being fair. All right. <laughs> so hold on. Which is the same in I think as being unconscious. So that. All right. Uh, if, so, if I believe if we attack him though, he will wake back up. So as long as we don't do anything to him, he's out. So it's about as you can see, it's about eight forty-five in the morning. All right. Time, some time has passed since you guys have entered the tomb. Which means that he'll be asleep till roughly 9.30 in the evening. Right? Um, probably will wake up pissed. So, the battle, the battle music, what, a bit of an anticlimactic battle. Right? But, um, but he's hey, asleep. We all walk away alive. That seems good yeah, to me. I was going to say, it's that works for me. All right, so you know, Horbeck, you're you're pretty hurt. About halfway through, there's like blood, you know, pooled around you and, and sort of floating away in the water. Um, you guys uh, see, you know, Ansebeck, you know, just sort of like take a knee and lay down, resting his head, you know, on his weapon there, and um, it's sound asleep. Now, my assumption is is that he can be woken. This is not like a, you know what I mean? So like he's asleep. So if you guys were to take his weapon or shake him or poke him, he's going to wake back up, correct? I would imagine. Yeah, if, like, if we attack him or anything, he'll wake yes. back up. So EG, you know, if you want to loot him, he's got a pretty cool looking weapon, but if you want to loot him, it will likely wake him up. What do you think, kids? I say we make haste, yeah, it, lock the door, and move on. I agree. I yeah. That sounds good to me. So with that out, um, I'm going to end combat, because you're no longer in combat. Enjoy this insane amount of experience. Oh, I, I should have also pointed oh. out that Sue would have uh, sung rock up by and Sue back. When the tree falls, I, that song I don't remember the full. But, thing, but. In, in the treetop, when in the when treetop. yeah, when the wind blows, Which is, it's a the, weird song. Just, yeah. <laughs> it makes no. You would want you wouldn't want your child going through that trauma. Yeah. Um, all right, so you guys are you know. The room falls you know somewhat silent. You guys hear the you know the running water, and suddenly the beauty of this room is sort of like you you can sort of take it all in with the the, the green glowing. Um, these beautiful flowers, uh, you know, uh, all of the engravings and and symbols on the sarcophagus, um, you know, and Abassi is already like sort of spins around, and is heading out the door, knowing that like time is of the essence. And we already did our long rest, didn't we? Did you? I can't remember. No, we didn't, because I'm not back up at full hit points, so. I think, you, I think, I think we you guys did, were debating we, the math. Yeah, we thought about it, but I, I don't think we actually did. So, guys, I'm at, like, half hit points. Um, well, let's... We should probably just get out of this room so we don't wake him up, like, discussing stuff. Did we get everything we needed from here? I can't remember. I think so. You took... You got a mantle and a, a, a scepter. Does it look like there's anything over by that... Um, that throne. Roll an investigation. All right. Fair enough. No. Nothing. Okay. You um, you look and it comes up laughing. You see, laughing, ah, lacking. Um, you do okay. notice that there's a some sort of a cushion on the throne. It's, it's of no value. Uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, Ansebeck had hemorrhoids. One, one cannot say. Did um, did we find everything? Like, was there anything else in the safar? No, nope, so, you got everything. Sarcophagus. Yeah. Okay. Bunker, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Dole. Um, he looted everything away. All right, then I'm heading out. Hey, I'm I'm stuck in this door. I can't get out. Sounds like a problem. Did 
Do we get locked in here? Where's everybody? <laughs> I've lost everybody. Um, in the hallway up up the um, up the main door. Ah. <coughs> so you guys in the in the, oh, you're in the hallway? The I see. You. I got you. Yeah, except for Horbeck and Sue. In, yeah, my map just died. Uh. Hello? Hello? Your map died? Yeah. Um, I'm refreshing and weird stuff is happening. Very weird. As, as Sue le leaves, she whispers, sleep tight on Sue back, and then closes the door. Well, she'll close the door after Horvick gets off, but... Alright, who we got left here? We got... Oh, let's move you guys in since you guys are locked up, you said? Yeah. Move. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get through that door. And Horbeck, I'll move. There. Did, did you try opening it and turning it on and off? No, the uh, friendly dungeon master put me through. Ah. Uh, you guys are all in the atrium. Tell me when you're back, with, Horbeck. With Atreus. Atrius uh, in the <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> so, you know Did anyone did anyone lock the door? Who did? As she whispered goodnight and pulled it closed and locked it. Alright, so she locked the door. Yeah. The rain. I I tell everyone else, um, everyone about the noises like that um, we heard from the other door that we thought we were supposed to go to originally. That sounded almost like nature or a forest. Oh yeah. So you say sort of towards the towards the bird. Yeah. <clears throat> shall we shall we investigate that area? But Horbeck here looks. He looks pretty bad. Yeah, I was trying to see. Oh, hang uh, on. I've, I've got some healing spells here. My, I've got some potions of healing. It, it, it's roughly 11, so I'm approaching noon. Approaching noon. Um, we, we've, we're making good progress, but but I worry that we don't want to cut it cut it too close. A long rest would put us would put us towards almost almost eight o'clock at night. Yeah. Alright, what, what do you guys think? Out. I'm gonna give him too long. Uh, yeah. How much uh, do we have? Any like greater healing potions or anything like that? I or? do. Yes, Cad Cadmius is about to give Horback a potion of greater healing. So Abasi's also asking, like, you know, how are your spell slots? Right. <clears throat> I I am all out of spell slots. So, you know, doing sort of the mental math, there's four generals and the boss, right? Is sort of is sort of what you guys have figured out. You've you've dispatched one of the bosses or one of the generals. Um, you've slept you slept the other general without doing a whole lot of damage to it. Um, <laughs> that leaves you two generals and a boss. You know, he's. Uh, if we he, don't he, take he, a long rest. If, if we don't take a long rest, I'll give um, a potion of greater healing to Horbeck. What do you guys think? Should like maybe we should rest? Uh, if the play is gonna, if the play is gonna be sleep the sleep every time. Wait, what was that? DM say what? Uh, how? How effective are you without your spell slots? A long sword, and I can fight, but I am definitely more effective if I have my spell slots. So, so, so what but, I'm hearing is you're not particularly effective. Uh, not that you're useless. I, I, I'm not judging, but uh, I'm concerned. So I'm, I'm torn between you know, leveraging your well, leveraging your spells versus us running out of time. Then we're all we're all lost. 
what do the rest of you think? Uh, so, uh, I'll, ter- I'll, I'll tell Abbasi as like, again, I, I can fight. I'm just not a tank. I'm not a... I might be a little fragile fighter. That's all. Uh, Abbasi, last time you seemed to really suggest when we did the first one that we wasted all of our time fighting the boss and not getting out. And this time we got the stuff first. And if we hadn't got a lucky sleep, it seems like we would have had to fight the boss anyway. Are we missing something? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I thought, you know, I I thought that getting the, 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 the goal is to get the items, not necessarily dispatch the boss. So, you know, my, 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 the, the top of mind for me, when we enter any of these rooms will be, how can I most quickly get the things we need? So that if something, you know, goes wrong, at least we've escaped with, with, with the items that we need. Um, so, how, how many um, darkness spells can you do? If, uh, if you had full spell slots. I can do... Where is it? Oh, I I can only do one per. So it's it's uh in my innate spell casting abilities. I think that's one per rust. I'm not oh, totally. Shoot. I'm not sure how that works actually. It doesn't. Really... I was wondering if we could use that to like you know go grab a grab a scepter. Yeah, I so I thought my innate spell casting was similar to cantrips because they are just things that my character knows, but it doesn't doesn't actually have a, a number next to it. Like if I look at my spell slots, I have a first level, I have four spell slots. Second level, I have three spell slots. But with innate, it doesn't, it just has dash slash dash. So I, I don't know if that means. Well, I, I, have all, I have three of my four spell slots available at first level. And- and three, all three at second level. Uh, I'm able to cure wounds, um, so I'm I'm pretty okay. Maybe maybe we yeah, should so I gotta... move move forward a bit and then potentially take a long rest, depending on the next general. If we can yeah, get I've away got, with uh... just, if we can get away with rushing in and then grabbing the stuff and then locking the door behind us, if that works. <laughs> to keep the boss canned, then I think we could probably do it. If we need to rely on a sleep, um, then we need to rest to charge that back up, but yeah. I could also- I still got quite a few spell slots, so I'm okay to go for a while. I also have my minor illusions cantrip that I could do at will. It, It can't do a huge area, but it could at least maybe we could do something to trick it, trick the bosses. All right, so why don't I give Horbeck one of my potions of greater healing? We go and try and take on a second boss and trick him and just get in and out, and we'll see how well that works. Yep, yep. Okay. Maybe an illusion plus some sneaking or something like that this time. We could try that if we don't end up uh, bumble fucking into the room like we did last time. All right. Let's do it. I, I say we go for the the bird one because we where the, the bird mosaic is. Um, it sounds like that might be foresty or outdoors like so we may have more opportunities to hide the dog faced one I'm worried we know nothing of that area yet so there's too many unknowns with as low as we are what do you got how do I pass over a potion of greater healing or can you do that for me DM yep let me do that so let me open you up you you cannot drag an item from you to them. I have three, so I it would I would assume that 
when I drag it, I'd be passing off all three. Uh, I can try, and we'll see what happens. Do you want to do that first? Yeah, try that, because I think that'll probably do the same thing for me. Hopefully it just takes one. Uh, it said you took you took the potion of healing. Yep. Oh, that yep. was supposed to... I dragged it onto um, Beck. Or oh, should but I it, have targeted Horbeck? It shows Horbeck's picture, though. Oh, yeah, you yeah, healed him. I think him. it gave me 16... Gave you fifth, yeah, 16 points is what he gave you. Yeah. So, yeah, it was 44 plus 4. Yep, okay. So... How, how many do you have left? Do you only have one left now? No, I should have. Let me check my inventory here. I, I, could, I, I have cure wounds. Would you like me to use a slot? I don't mind. Let's wait. Did, yeah, I know, did it uh, actually apply onto the Hordeck? It did, yes. Okay, Indeed. I've got a... Um, I have another. Why don't I use another one? Well, I've, I also have one um, that I think you may have given me earlier, but has, I haven't used it. Shall I go ahead and take that? Yeah, if you've got one. Okay. Uh, I should have two more left, but for some reason it's showing me as having three still. I can change that for you. Just, okay, just so to I'm, be honest here. I'm using the greater healing. Um, that did not add anything, though. It says it added 14. Yeah, but it didn't actually add to me. Wait, it's not I your had... picture. Oh, uh, it added it to me for some reason. Oh, crap. Do you have him targeted? Okay, so wait, I need to take... Well, it didn't... Do it, did it, it remove added it from nothing your... Because I, I'm at full health, so oh, he's it didn't... Axe. Okay. Yeah, so it didn't do anything. So how much did it, was it supposed to give you back, Horbeck? Uh, four, 14, 14, it looks like. Okay, hold on. Fourteen back. Fourteen back. Yes. There, you're looking okay. better, Orbit. That's good. Yeah, I, I think that's that's enough to take on our next our next thing. Okay. All right. Thank you. So Bossy's, you know, Bossy's ready to roll, right? He's, he's, uh, wants to head. Does anyone want to venture to guess which one the, the boss is? Is it the snake? I think it's down the long hallway that's straight north. Oh, north. Okay. Oh, there's yeah, a I hallway the, up north? All four diagonals are the, the generals, and then there's like a, a door, but there seems to be a bridge missing, if I remember. Yes, oh, I believe. Okay. I, I believe. I believe to the north. Once we have the scepters, we can unlock the door to the north, or the, the bridge see. to the north. And right. Until then, we're we're here, and you know, I, I I do worry. I do worry that 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 creature will awaken before we have a chance to end this all. So while we have Which, uh, some time left, I, I, I would prefer if in the next eight hours we could knock this out. Honestly, you guys, I, I can't imagine fighting several generals at once. Now is that a Bossy. gotta have or a nice to have? Let's let's do this. Okay, sorry. Yeah, he he's, he's, he thinks that, that that general falls below the red line. However, you know, if you can get resourcing allocated for this quarter, then yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely take on this creature. <clears throat> Uh, Asi, how many adventures have you been on? We, we've been on many. We know how to do this stuff. Don't worry about it. Oh, I, was, I, I was under the impression that you would all come together recently. Oh, it doesn't mean we, we haven't been on adventure. I've been on several hundred adventures with I, other teams and individuals. I, I, this is like old stuff to me. I'm not judging. Um, I, I, do believe, I do believe just, just past 
this 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 vault of endless treasures, more than a man would need in ten lifetimes. Um, I believe to the south here is the room that we're looking for. Why why don't you go open the door? If you insist. Well, well, we'll just do it very slowly and peek in. Let us know what you see. So would you like him to open the door before everyone's at the... Are we checking a... for traps first? <laughs> Bossy was just told to open the door, and unless someone says otherwise, in about three Listen, seconds, I'm going to click stop, open. Stop, check for traps. So we, <laughs> we, had already, we, had already, we had already done that when we came around to finding oh. the entrance, so that's oh, okay. how I knew it was okay to do that. Yeah, they that's wouldn't cool. have known that. All right. I didn't know that. Thanks. Sorry. Right. Yeah, you guys weren't near us, so... All right, so you want to open the door? Very Thanks. slowly, just enough to like peek inside and see if if he could scout and find where it is that we need to get to so that we could figure out who's the best to sneak in, get there and try to get it. And Atreus, it's still, you're, you still show us that you have, you're not concentrating, right? I don't think so. It should have ended once. Uh... Yeah, Pass Without Trace should not be on you anymore. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And then, Which means it should also be off of Bossy and uh, yeah, I'm and taking Sue. it off. We'll say that's the one one thing I've noticed is the system has a hard time turning things off. Yeah. Oh, it's a Bossy in the board. Budget. A bossing this shouldn't have any effects as well. Pass without trace. Here we go. Any I don't other think effect? I should have co comprehend languages either. What about dark vision? Uh, let me look, because uh, I know I did that when I fell down into the that pit, the last pit with the boss. And I think I still have spiritual weapon. Oh, uh, it, it's good for eight hours. Good? Yeah, eight hours. Okay, so you're good. That's good. There we Every, go. Thanks. Everyone else is above board, right? We're good, I believe. Yeah. All right. So then, um, is it you guys want to? Are you? Are is Abasi leading the way? I told him to open the door very slowly just enough to kind of peek in a little bit and see if you can figure out where the the sarcophagus is and what's in there so that we can figure out how do we sneak in and get what we need all right so he, he opens up the door and one moment sepulcher of dawn stops playing and suddenly we hear Sepulcher of Again, just opening up a crack to kind of look in, not like full on open the door and say, we're here. So, you know, this chamber, which I could put this in the chat window, um, this chamber is made up of narrow columns uh, with of differing heights. Each resembles sort of a, I'm sorry, uh, which reach up to, oh my God. My brain is not working, you guys. Let me try this again. This chamber is made up of narrow columns of differing heights, which reach up out of a pit of darkness that seems to go down about 40 feet, ending in a floor piled with bones, feathers, and muck. The room stinks horribly of dust and rot. The pit seethes with shadows that do not fully obey the light. Nests of bone, mud, feathers sit atop the pillars, some of them holding canopic jars with avian designs. Canopic, yeah. Okay. Uh, at the far end of the chamber is a massive nest built around a sarcophagi, a sarco sarcophagus that appears to have been partially opened. There, hunched over a pile of jars, cooing to them lovely, is this terrible sight of Nekbel, Amun, the watchful eye. He's a humanoid, barely, a cross of a man and a vulture with broad wings from long, thin limbs, tipped with sharp talons. In one clawed hand, he holds a staff tipped with radiant gold orb. Upon spotting the group, he wraps his wings around himself, hiding from sight. The dead, dread general cocks his head, taking in the group. So he's he has spotted Abasi. His first words are in Arun, 
And then he proclaims loudly, Oh! Wait, let's see. Which voice? Here we go. Oh! Visitors! I have foreseen your arrival. What baubles or treasures have you brought to me? I guess we're not sneaking. Yeah, first I'm going to say, Abasi, I said, just open it up a little bit. Not, don't open it up like you're supposed to just peek in and see a little. You want us to do this, this on time? The, Come this on. is not the door of some hobble. This is the door of a giant chamber. It is Are open. You weak? It is closed. I don't know how you expected this giant metal door to silently swing open with without any, any anyone you know spying upon me. Maybe, maybe you should have said next something time you do before it. you opened the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, in in Abasi's defense, he was instructed to open the door. And he did his best, but this thing isn't, uh, you can't really peek it open, right? It's a giant door. It's 10 feet tall. It's 10 feet wide. So mental note, you've been through three doors now. <laughs> They're giant doors. Uh, DM, can we get the uh, description you just read in the chat? So we can... Let me see. Yeah, let me uh, do a, see if I can copy and paste it in there. Oh, wait. Here we go. Describe. Kind of wondering if we could pull off a an illusion to distract and then a sneak in. But, you know, you have to have things to hide behind and stuff. It sounds, it sounds like it can be bought with baubles and treasure. I know. I'm looking. I've got an amulet. I wonder if I could uh, cast a, my minor illusion cantrip and make it look like I'm holding a bunch of treasure. So, I don't know, some valuable gem like that he's never seen before. That way others could still sneak and try to get the um, the thing. Now, the only downside is if he comes to investigate it, It'll pretty much be like, oh, yeah, that's fake, and we would be in battle, but. I can't really see enough in the room to know how far away the um, the stuff is to get. It, it, it looks like we can step into a, a platform and perhaps get a better look. Did we walk in? But I would recommend we we let this fine feathered fellow know our plans before we just all rush into the room suddenly. I would say I I do have a a vial of perfume from the Fey realm. I'm sure that's something he's never. Uh, or well, it's just a perfume vial, but I could say it's from the Fey realm and try to make him believe it's from an a dimension that he's never visited. It's worth more gold than he, he can imagine. Hold on. Let me make sure I can deceive pretty well, because I don't know if I can. Oh, I do have really high deception, so it could work. And this is where I realized I, I, I chose, I pushed the wrong button for the voice because, you know, he's a bird, not a thunderous beast. Sorry, I've cleared my throat. I, I should sound a little less menacing now than I, I did a moment ago. <clears throat> Again, what baubles and treasures have you brought to me? My preference is magics. Or are you here to steal? Are you Is anyone as anything mine? magical? Well, so I'm gonna I I'm gonna ask a bossy, like, do we need the the other magic items besides the scepters? So like that mantle. Oh, with the mantle, um, yeah, right. Need? No, we need the scepters. 
Will the other magical items aid us in our battles? Perhaps. I, I, I cannot know the future. Yeah, we could try trading the mantle. There must have been one other item, too, that we got. Yeah, what was the other one? One of us is carrying it. That was... <clears throat> that was the... Uh... Is it Stu? He has a scepter. Here's Cadmius. Do you have it? I have the... It was the Waxen Crescent. It was a weapon. It was like ah. a crossbow. But it's not really much use to me right now. Perhaps I can offer that up. Well, I, I feel like any one of these alone doesn't really make, like, we don't need, but if you combine them all, we may need them to stop the main boss. That like, could be. That could be. Okay, so what else do we have? I mean, the problem is, is that this this was kind of a one-off, so I don't know that we, like, did we appear with a whole bunch of magic? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I have to drop, guys. Sorry. Uh, I apologize. It's okay. It is, already, it is our so. stop time. Yeah, yeah no, this is a good good spot to stop. Anyway. This is this yeah. is a good spot. So you okay. know, you basically you have this you know this this uh, this bird friend, not not hostile, but not necessarily. You don't know what what might happen in the future. Looking for some sort of uh, um, magics and, and trinkets and treasures and baubles. There's perhaps some backstory that you might want to dive into next time. Yeah. Um, would be interesting to maybe get out of get out of one of these generals without sleeping them, killing them, perhaps just a, a trade, <laughs> right? Um, um, but, alas, but alas, the next time we play, we will we will pick up oh, here right. upon I I this roost where the watchful eye, you know, is deep in conversation with you. Awesome! Very right cool. On. Interesting session, Whoa. gentlemen. Interesting session. Um, you got to I have to make a boss. mental note that that, that the. Um, oh, let me tick the time I had. Fifteen minutes. It's now actually half hour. Twelve fifteen. So it's now twelve fifteen. You should have seen that change on your on your HUDs somewhere in there. Um, yeah. Awesome. And uh, your time is ticking away. On that note, I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Hopefully, you guys got some great plans. Anyone? Uh, except for you Canadians, you, I think you're done, right? Like you, do, you did your 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 boxing days over, correct? We we already we already had our Thanksgiving, so I'm I'm going to be cooking two or smoking two turkey breasts uh, in thoughts of you Americans. Oh, nice. that's good. They're hard and, to get lit, but and you can not even lit, watching you know? any football. Yeah, well, I'm not watching any football either. <laughs> <laughs> you need a really big bowl. Awesome. Well, cool guys. Well, thank you so much. Um, right I'm going to guess that next Monday. Um, when the other group plays, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be available that night. I'll have to let you guys know in advance. Um, and we're not playing for the other, the other, other half of you guys. We're not playing Friday, obviously. It's a day off work. So it was fantastic to get with y'all. I'm going to do a little bit reading up on this. I didn't expect you guys to make it into this bird room, so I was not completely prepared. So I'm excited that you guys are quitting now so that I can actually know what the hell this thing is supposed to do. So I'll see you guys all, all right. next That's time. That's we were... We What's weren't that? supposed to be here. No, you guys made it. Look, Let's you put a thing. We you put a thing to sleep, right? Like you were, you were fighting it, and then suddenly yeah, you're like, ah, go to sleep. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yes. Awesome. All right. All right. I'll see you guys next round. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for the game, everyone. Thanks again.